Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're doing very well. Happy Monday. <laughs> um, I hope you had a great weekend. I hope it was relaxing and you got lots of you know sleep and stuff. Um, so this is a reading for Monday the 21st of August, but obviously it is a timeless reading. Uh, my name is Diane, for those of you that are new, and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot. So pile number one is the Amethyst. Pile number two is the Pink Tourmaline. Uh, nope. Why do I keep calling it that? Pink Rhodochrosite. I don't even know if pink tourmaline's a thing. I don't know why I keep saying that, but I do. And pile number three is the Blue Appetite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. And I'm going to get a shrug of my tea. Mm. Mm, okay. Move that guy over there, move this guy over here, this guy over here. Okay, pile number one, Amethyst. So you guys have, oh, that's a good card. Oh, I wonder, do I have to, she's not naked, that should be fine. <laughs> so you have um, number 13, Lioness, you earned all your stripes. Okay, so this is the pile of the warriors. Um, you have number 44, which is a beautiful number, by the way, you should look that up. Um, storm, every hurricane comes to an end. All right, so you've definitely been through the ringer, pile number one, okay? So you've been earning your stripes, okay? You've been through some kind of, um, I don't know if you want to call it like an initiation or something, okay? But whatever this is you've been through... See, I feel like it's been, it's it's not just like a, this is not just talking about like a little bit of bad luck, you know, or like a little run of difficult times. This is almost like a, years and years and years, like a long time, like an initiation, right? Because they're saying you've earned all your stripes. And she's actually reading a book of fairy tales. So you're about to get your fairy tale ending, okay? You're about to get your happy ending because you've, you've, completed your quest. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, like you've completed your warrior, your hero challenges, okay? I mean this round, okay? So it's like, you can think of it like part A of your life is done and now we're moving on to part B, the rewards, right? So you're coming out of the hurricane. Also notice that she's wearing a crown, right? So whatever this is you've been through, you know, you've earned your crown, okay? Um, there's going to be a time of like, you know, she's sitting chilling, reading a book. There's going to be like a time of peace now, you know, because I don't know if that's supposed to be a mermaid, but it's kind of making me think of like a monster. Like you've conquered your monsters or you've conquered, you know, a lot of challenges or whatever. And you come out very strong. You're definitely a warrior, pile number one. And also, you know, 13 adds up to number four. So you have four, four, four. So this is a very blessed pile. Okay, you should look up the number. Um, you might also have been seeing 40, 44 a lot recently, okay? And also with the amethyst, that's a crown chakra frequency. I always have a crown chakra frequency on in the background when I do these readings because it helps messages come through from the universe more easily. Um, so you may be finding that you're getting a lot of synchronicities at the moment, pile number one. Um, you may also find that you have a strong knowing that a huge cycle of your life has come to an end. Um, because see how she's in the puddles here? So it's like the storm, you know, there may be still some puddles left, you know? So I don't mean that like things are going to, you know, continue to be bad, but I just mean like you might still be feeling a little tired because you've been through so much. You know, or you might still be dealing with like a little bit of health problems, you know, because you've had to go through this very long experience of like your initiation, blah, 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 right? But you're basically out of it now. So I feel like you're, you can feel that, you know? Um, also your crown chakra might be getting, uh, you know, it's like opening a lot more, getting a lot of messages through, okay? Yeah. 
Look, you have the number 27, justice is coming. So this is your good karma coming in now, pile number one, okay? That's what's coming in now. You can expect, it, that's ex exactly what I feel is happening here. So it's, you've been through like a very tough road. That was your initiation, I wanna say, okay? And now it's like, you've completed it. And now it's, the rewards are coming now, okay? This is your good karma coming in. Um, you have Clover, release your guilt. And you have Sundress, do it for you, another number four. Okay, so there's something here. You may also see with the sword here, you may recently have cut someone out of your life. Um, okay, for some of you. And you have release your guilt and you have do it for you. So <laughs> mm. I don't know if you can see that, but there's like flickers of light across these cards. I don't know if that if that came up through the camera. Um, pile number one. There's a power that you're stepping into right now, okay? And it's almost like in the past, you've held yourself back because you felt guilty. Maybe you felt guilty about leaving certain people behind or you felt guilty about getting your blessings, which are about to come in. Um, but I feel for you, yeah, there's very much a sense here of, I feel like some of you have left a person behind quite recently. And I feel like leaving that person behind, it was almost like they were blocking your blessing somehow. Because I feel like you had a guilt attachment to this person. And it's almost like, because in this card, it looks like she's like shaking it off, like shaking someone off. You know, like shaking off an energy. And it's a very pure card, like that's all snow. And it looks like kind of blessings. It's almost, it's literally like your blessings are about to come in. Do you see what I mean? Like here is the karma, you know, like the good karma. And then here it's like literally, you know, like the little snowflakes. It's like all you have to do is wait now and you're about to get like flooded with blessings. Because I do feel, I feel there was something about guilt for you. Like you felt guilty about receiving. That's what it is. This, this is a pile of people that are about to step it you've stepped into receiving mode recently okay you may have but see that's what happens when you've been like a warrior a warrior your whole life warrior with an a okay um and you've had to fight for things and you may have always been the person that had to do things for other people and the person that everyone else relied on and like the giver and when you've been in that mode your entire life it's actually kind of difficult to get into the receiving mode, but I feel like that's what you've done recently because you've kind of let go of some kind of guilt about receiving and deserving love. Um, and I feel like, because they, they keep drawing my attention to the crown and it's like throughout everything, everything that you've been through, you managed to sort of hold on to your crown, you know? Um, like you manage to retain like your your grace and your innocence is what they're saying. Um, and I feel like you're really coming into your power because you're releasing guilt about being in power or be not nice not being in your power, you know, and like shining and being confident and being happy and getting your blessings. Because for some reason you felt guilty about it, okay? Maybe because you had to leave someone behind to do it. But, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, that person wasn't meant to come with you, right? People can only come with you if they're willing to do the work. If they're not, then it doesn't matter how much you try and save them, they can't come with you, you know? So that's your message, pile number one. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care. Pile number two, you have the pink rhodochrosite. I'm just going to get a swig of tea. Oh, sorry, pile two. <laughs> Very thirsty. 
that didn't come out the way that I meant it to. <laughs> I meant that I was actually just like dehydrated. Okay, so you have the 10 of wands, okay. Okay, so you got a lot of work on pile number two. You're very tired. Maybe you're struggling with your workload or the amount of stuff you have to do. Oh, well, it looks like you're gonna get help. And it looks like someone new is coming in because the pink rhodochrosite often represents a new love. It certainly represents love. I'm gonna put it like that so you can see all the pink. It usually talks about a new love. So I feel like someone's coming, ah, sorry. My um, bones in my hand have started dislocating themselves. It's not, I don't know what is happening. <laughs> Just dislocated there, sorry. Um, yeah, I feel like this is you, this 10 of wands here. So you might have like a lot on your plate. Like you feel like you're trying to carry a heavy load by yourself. You, you're having to do everything by yourself, but there's an emperor coming in to help you, okay? So that could, that could be new love for some of you, okay? And a lot of you may have come here from pile number one, which I feel like this is a similar message to Friday. I can't remember, I feel like this came through on Friday, but you know, if you felt called to watch pile number one, you should watch it, okay? But this emperor coming in, male or female, of course, they could be a new love coming in. Um, but you know, if you're not looking for love, this is simply someone coming in to help you, but the emperor is like daddy energy, like someone very capable. Um, it could even be like DIY. They're saying DIY, <laughs> you know, like your dad helps you with DIY or something. Like it could be someone that has like a skill that you need. They're going to help you with or something like that. Um, but this is like, yeah, someone reliable, someone faithful, someone dependable, someone with a lot of experience, like someone very grown up, not necessarily older, but mature and grown up. And they're going to, they, they're going to come in and help you. And it's someone that you can really rely on. Okay. Could be your divine masculine. If you're waiting on that, um, you have the hierophant here as well. So this is Aries and this is Taurus energy. Um, Oh, you have the Knight of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, they are coming in fast. <laughs> um, you can see them, right? Okay, so there's something to do with divine timing with this guy or this girl coming in for you, or this person, I should say. Um, you know, the Wheel of Fortune talks about the divine time, the correct time for this person to come in. The Knight of Swords talks about someone coming in very fast. That's Gemini and that's Sagittarius energy, just in case that's relevant to you. Um, you know, for some of you, it could be that you let someone else go. And that's why this new person's coming in so fast, okay? But they're coming in very fast. Um, with the Hierophant, now that can mean a few things. If this is about love, this person is certainly going to be looking for a commitment. This is someone very stable, very, like I said, very reliable, very faithful, but they're looking for commitment. You know, the Hierophant represents marriage. Um, so, you know, if this is love for you, like if you're looking for love, this person's looking for a commitment and they're coming in fast. With the Hierophant, that talks about someone in a position of authority in some way. Now that could be a teacher, it could be a manager, it can be a spiritual teacher. Um, someone that, ha you know, like people listen to that has information that people listen to. This is a solid person, whoever they are, you know, with the emperor and the hierophant. This is someone that's been around the block. They know what's up, you know, they know their ish and people respect them for it. And they want to help you like this person. The, the universe is sending this person to help you. Okay. So if you're having a really hard time at the moment, don't worry because someone's coming in to help you and like I said it could be love for others of you if you're not looking for love it could be a friend or like I don't know it's gonna come they're gonna come in in some way um mm. sorry my throat's going let me get a swig of tea um okay so 
if it is love, <laughs> this person could be quite thirsty for you, okay? Because um, I'm suddenly very thirsty in this pile and my throat, so I'm just getting more tea, excuse me. Okay, um, <clears throat> um, mm. yeah, so this person, you know, if this is love, they're going to be very thirsty for you. I don't know if they're a bit... drought is what they're saying okay so I don't know if that's they've they've had a bit of a drought or something like that okay but they're not coming in to just hit it and quit it okay the hierophant like this person's deadly serious like this is someone you know the higher like I said the hierophant's marriage okay so yeah fear not pile two your hero is coming I'm not gonna say heroin because uh, it just sounds like a drug. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna say hero, and that's gonna be for a boy or a girl. So yeah, fear not, pile two. Your hero is coming. They're on the way. Help is on the way, dear. Okay. <laughs> so that's your message, pile two. I uh, I hope that was a useful message. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, I wish you many blessings, love and light. Take care. And pile number three, you guys had the blue appetite, which is about. Uh, manifestation it's also a throat chakra I went a bit random for your pile and just pulled like a card from a lot of different decks that I have so let's see you have wealthy man okay okay this is either someone that this is either a person or it's you you take this as it resonates okay you'll see what other cards come out but you've been manifesting this or they've manifested you, but I feel like you've manifested them. Or you've manifested wealth, okay? It's either a wealthy man or a wealthy woman coming towards you, or you're about to step into some wealth, okay? Could also be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I always take that card to be like the king of pentacles, okay? You have standing firm. I am noble, brave, and strong. So if this is a person headed your way this person is solid you may have been attracted to pile two <laughs> okay it's maybe the same person from pile two um sorry it's so far away I'll put it like that is that the same i don't know i don't know if i did anything useful there it doesn't feel like it did <laughs> sorry um yeah what was i saying Space cadet today. Yeah, if this is a person that's coming towards you, this person is solid, okay? They are gonna be like your rock. This person is gonna be like a rock for you. They are, you know, like it says on the card, they're noble, they're brave, they're strong. It's someone that stands very firm. You know what I mean by that? Like, um, I mean, nobody's unshakable, but I feel like they're a very calm presence. So they could very well have earth in their chart somewhere. You know, they're very stable, they're very grounded, they're very solid, and they're gonna be a rock for you. And I think they are, they're very like, yeah, strong, honorable, brave, this type of energy. Yeah, mm. um, and it, yeah, if this is you, you know, if you're not looking for love um, or you're not, this is not, you know, you're going to know if you've manifested this person into your life or not, okay? But if this is you, there's a message here to stay, to stand firm, okay? Because the wealth is coming, like the money is coming. You can obviously, you can take both messages as well if you want, you know, um, but yeah, stand firm. Oh my God, why is my throat going? <coughs> Excuse me. Stand firm because the money's coming, okay? You have the rabbit spirit. Now is a lucky time. Ooh. Yeah, let's see what your other cards are. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. You have two cards of abundance. That is wild. That is wild. Look at that. You have infinite abundance. Abundance is pouring into your life. And I always feel like with this card, it's like you don't even really have to do anything because these women, 
are just holding the, you know, the blanket, waiting for the apples to drop. Like they're just waiting for the abundance to, to fall in. It's almost like somebody else is giving them the abundance. Like that's either going to be this person or it's going to be the universe. You know, it's like all you have to do is wait and it, you know, the abundance is coming and you have prosperity lies ahead. The new moon in Taurus. So you could have Taurus in your chart or someone coming towards you could have Taurus somewhere in their chart. All right, pile number three, you have money coming in, okay? Um, <clears throat> oh my God, what's going on with my throat? <clears throat> mm, maybe you're having a throat chakra unblock as well, or that's this person, because the, the blue appetite is also a throat chakra crystal, because it's blue, you know. Um, you have money coming in, all right? So I'm going to talk about this like it's you first. So if you, if, you know, if you're waiting for money to come in, they're saying just stand firm because this is a lucky time. Whatever this is you're trying to do, you know, whatever this abundance is you're trying to get, because obviously it's going to be different for different people. But um, this may be another pile that are seeing a lot of fours because, you know, you have 13, which is a four. Then you have um, 49 which is 13 and that, you know, that's a four two. So you might have come here from pile number one and you might be seeing a lot of 40, specifically 44. You might be seeing 44 a lot. The closer this manifestation gets to you, the more you're gonna see 44, I would say. Or you might be seeing that already, but yeah, stand firm because the money is coming. Like you've invested in this opportunity at the right time. This is a lucky time, you've done well, you've done the work, and now literally the universe is about to drop abundance into your lap. And you may well have come here from pile one. And if that is the case, this is the flip side I was talking about. This is the justice, this is the karma coming in now, okay? Um, and honestly, I feel like it's not just a little bit of abundance. I feel like you're, like you're gonna be like very comfortable, <laughs> like forever kind of thing, like for a long time, like whatever this is you're doing, you're gonna be well off for a long time because it's infinite abundance and it's prosperity lies ahead. You know, these are not even like, you know, there's not even any pentacles here, you know, because I didn't pull the tarot for this pile, but it's, it's like long term. That's what this makes me feel like. You know, it's not like a windfall coming in, although, I mean, it could be that too, but it's not just something that you're gonna have for a little bit of time. This is like, you're gonna have it for a long, long time. There's a lot of Taurus energy here. Um, excuse me, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> um, so yeah, if that's you, your money's coming, all right? There's also, this could also be a person, you know, you can take both as well, if if that applies to you, but this could be a person coming towards you. <clears throat> um, This person, if this is a person coming towards you, I wanna say this person has a block in their throat chakra or they've been working through it, because I'm having a really tough time. When I start speaking about this person, I have a tough time. Okay, um, so this person could have overcome blocks in their throat chakra, like they might be quite shy. Oh my God, <clears throat> they might be quite shy, okay? They could be an earth sign, but this person could also be well off because there's a lot of money here in this pile. And it's really someone that you can rely on. You know what song, they sorry, my camera cut out, you know that, you know the song they keep putting in my head and I've been um, singing it since I sat down actually. You know that Keen song, Somewhere Only We Know? Um, and there's a, a line in it that says, I'm getting tired and I need someone to rely on. And I feel like that's who's coming in for you if you've manifested a person. And this person is solid. They are noble, they are brave, they are strong. And I also feel, 
I feel like they're quite well off. You know, I, I don't know what that means exactly, but there's so much money around this person. So maybe they, they're just a really hard worker, you know, and they save a lot of money. Um, or maybe they invested well or something like that. But this person, I feel like has money and they're, they're gonna wanna give it to you, all right? So may, I don't know, maybe this is someone that you're gonna be dating and you guys are gonna move in together or something like that. Are you gonna marry this person? Could be your children. You know, one of your children's gonna come in with some money for you or could be a boss. Right, if you you know if you're not looking for love or whatever, um, this could be like a, a, you know someone that you end up working for and they pay you very well. Whatever this, whatever it is, like you pile number three are headed towards a lot of money. Okay. Seriously though, if you've been manifesting like a person, I feel like there is someone coming in that like wants to look after you, <laughs> and like help you. Okay, I feel like you're going to be very blessed, pile three. All right, that's your message. So I hope that was a useful message. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care.